200 meters to go. 100 left, 50, 40, 30. I am about to run 100K in six days. No, I'm not a professional runner, nor do I enjoy running. I did this simply because it seemed impossible to be done at first. But to understand how I even got to this point, we have to go back a couple weeks ago when I first saw this video. How is that even possible? To run 42k within 2 hours? 42k within 2 hours. Unbelievable. So I did a little research. I found a half marathon in Taipei. But the problem is, I've never run anything longer than 10k. Remember the skateboard challenge I did a while ago? This time, I want to challenge myself, can I run 100k within one week? Can I? I don't know. We'll find out. First one of the challenge. Took a shower, feel pretty good. Gonna stretch out a little bit. Plan on doing another seven to eight K run, but it looks like it might rain tonight. Mm. With another eight K down the book, I'm currently at 16k out of the 100, which is a pretty good start if you ask me. So tomorrow, I'm supposed to meet my friend at Tianmu, which is 12k away. If I can run there and back, that will put me in a really, really good start. But 24k in a day, that's something I've never done before. So I really need a good night's sleep and attack the run tomorrow. With that being said, hey Siri, kill the lights. Good night. Twelve K away. Whew. Another ten K down, but I'm not there yet. Gotta keep going. Two more things. Almost 12k. Haha. -ha. What's up? So I brought my recovery shake with me, hoping that I can get a fast recovery after my run. And I opened this. Sunscreen. Yeah, but you can still eat that though. It's good protein. There's at least one gram of protein in there. Oh, dude, what? he caught it. No, 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 no. What the fuck? What? Just finished the lunch. Really don't want to run back home. It's another 12k to get home, and that would put me somewhere around 32k in two days. Ugh. All right, here we go. Uh, three more K before home. <laughs> Finally! Oh my God! That was a tough run. Towards the end, I think my legs are started to cramp. So I had to stop every half a K to stretch out my calves and hamstring. I don't think my body recovers as fast as before. So I gotta really take it easy. 
and um, get some good rest. So after this run, it puts me in 40k. That is almost half of what I'm supposed to do. So I think I'm gonna take tomorrow easy, try to recover because I don't want to get hurt. If I get hurt, I think it will take a long time to bounce back and I might not finish the whole challenge. The weather is so nice today. I really want to run, but my legs are not ready. Pace is like 450 right now. I don't think I can go any faster. Especially my left IT band is really, really tight right now. I've been stretching a whole lot yesterday. But I don't think it helped that much. It's really, really painful. That's it. What do you guys think? Not much difference, but a lot cleaner. Okay. Another 1.2K to get home. Super sore right now, but I want to give my friend and Nike a huge shout out for hooking me up with all the fresh gear I need to finish this 100k challenge and and for the half marathon I just signed up for. Stoked for that. Now that I've given enough time to test all the gears out, I want to talk about shoes. I used to run with these Adira Takumi Ren for roughly 10-15 years. They are super stiff at the bottom and they are really snappy to run in. One of the pair Nike sent me is the new React Infinity Run Fly Knit. The biggest difference I noticed right away from my previous running shoes is the thick springy bottom. Nike's new technology on these thick recoiling bottom is supposed to save you a lot of energy on long distance running. But it took me a long while to get used to. I feel like I have to wait for them. The fly knit feels so sweet that I barely need to tie my shoelaces. It fits like a glove. Not only do they feel amazing to walk on, even after a long run, I don't feel any pain in my feet, which is ideal for this 100k challenge. However, my favorite pair must be these Nike Zoom Fly 3. They feel so weird to walk on. I think it's because of the narrow bottom. When I first put them on, I thought I was stepping on a BOSU ball. But when I took them out for a run, man, was my mind blown. They are so fast and comfortable, especially at a pace that's faster than a 5 minute K. I just feel unstoppable, even towards the end of my long run. Again, I just spent some time getting used to these recoiling bottom. But once I get the timing right, I feel like I'm floating and the shoes literally just run for me. Ah, oh, we just take in our hotel. We're in Taichung. I didn't run a single K. I think me and Winnie are going on a midnight run. Tired. I really want to sleep. I'll see you when I get back. Another 7.5K. Boom! Over half of it. <laughs> Breaking the half point. I feel so accomplished right now. I'm going to bed. Hopefully I can get to run about an hour for tomorrow morning. Morning guys. It's 11.29. Apparently I think too much of myself. Should have woken up two hours earlier. So I think I'm gonna skip the morning run. Do the run at night. Oh, we just got back from Taizong, so we're gonna fit into some run and dinner. Hello! Ah, ah, ah. Ready for dinner? 14.69k. 
Thank you for the shirt. Let's go in for all you can eat. Bye. Morning. Day six of the challenge. So I got a good news and a bad news. Good news is that I find the right group to go hike with for three days uh, at a mountain that I always want to check out. Uh, bad news is the hike starts tomorrow, which means I have 35k to finish by the end of tonight. Ooh, that's a lot of distance to cover. But it's either today or I fail. What's it gonna be? Ooh. My feet are cramping, but I need to run right now. So, this seems to be my only option. About to start the second run of the day. I plan to put 10K in this run, running all the way back to Taipei 101 to see if Winnie can sneak out for a cup of coffee with me. And then, run 10K back. That should put me in 90K if I do that. Got here a little early, so I think I'm gonna circle around 101 and wait until she has her break. That's 10k, perfect timing. Oh, we get to see Winnie at the Starbucks. Oh, Winnie! See her for literally one minute and she's going up. Winnie thought her coffee break was longer, so I literally run 10k to see her for two minutes. But you do crazy things for who you love, right? So if I get to finish this run, that would put me somewhere around 90k. That means I have 10 more k's to finish off the 100k challenge within six days. a couple of my friends to run with me in the last 9k but none of them showed up i guess uh sometimes you just have to finish the job alone right actually i'm not alone there's a beautiful lady behind the camera but she refuses to show her face hi everyone <laughs> all right last 9k of the 100k k k ouch meters to go 100 left 50 40 30 Time. <laughs> that is 100k ladies and gentlemen goals what is your goal have you ever had a goal so big that seems impossible to reach it is so far from you that you don't even know which way to start 
but you take that first baby step, which at the moment seemed so insignificant towards the infinite and known future. You keep your head low, eyes shut, as if this would make you forget the fact that you're going against adversity. You hit the wall, you stumble across, you took the detour a couple times. Nonetheless, you keep making these baby steps, day in, day out. One day you open your eyes, you realize you've come so far. So far that you don't even recognize where you started. Yet you see your goal, your finish line, your destination. You're getting so close that you can run towards it in a straight line. There are scars on your skin. You are bleeding. You're in pain. So much pain, you feel it with every inch of your body. But it doesn't bother you. Because you know, for the first time, you have power over the pain. It is just noise that's trying to stop you. But you are a free train. Nothing, nothing can stop you but yourself. You broaden your strides. Looking up, eyes wide open, chest up, chin high. You see how fast you're moving. You start to enjoy the pain. And you're looking for more. It becomes the reward of your success. So wherever it is that you want to get to, don't let the distance in front of you stop you from trying. Don't hesitate. Make that first baby step. Make that first baby step today. The further you go, the clearer your path is. The further you go, the bigger your goal would appear. Sooner than you realize, your destination is right in front of your eyes. And my friend, I'll see you at the finish line. I am Darren. Until next time.